Hello everybody, I am coming to you from Taylor's Falls on the St. Croix River. Being that the uh, weather is starting to get a little chilly and season is starting to wrap up for paddling up here in Minnesota, I figured it was important to get out here. We've got such low water everywhere, um, it's kind of difficult to figure out what I wanted to do. Uh, I got one more trip planned for the year. but. I wanted to get one more in here up in uh, Minnesota before the season turned. So today is uh, September 10th. It is about quarter to 10 in the morning and we are just getting going. So um, very low water out here on the St. Croix. So it'd be interesting. I was out here a few years ago and it was uh, much deeper than this. And uh, I'm in the solstice. So hopefully uh, we're not ramming rocks or anything. So yeah, had that always hard goodbye and now we're out here. So I'm guessing I could get to the Mississippi in just two days. It's only 52 miles, uh, especially with the, with the Mare here. She's pretty sleek and fast, but uh, we're gonna not race down the river. We're gonna take our time a little bit and enjoy it. So. Just a few minutes in the trip, and we're already in just inches of water here on kind of our first little gravel bar. She is shallow. An example there, we got ground in the middle of the river. So yeah, we're just going to take it real easy through this stretch until we get a little bit more water to work with. Coming up on the rock ledges here right after the Taylor's Falls launch. And man, I can tell you it's low. <laughs> There's a lot of low water here. But there are fishing boats out here. So at least I know it's navi navigable. Navigable? Doable. Yeah. And we actually got a John boat coming up behind us. So. Evidently people think there's enough water to be out here in that. I should be all right in this. We're coming up on our first couple paddlers. 
kind of nice to see some folks down this far. How's it going? Good, how are you? Doing good. I believe this is Osceola, a very popular put in and take out for paddlers. Lots of trees in the water here, holy moly. Well, so far so good. I uh, just taking a little break here and having a snack and got the boat and stretch a little bit. Enjoy the the river a little bit. I'm in uh, no hurry this time, so um, it's pretty cool. So it's campsite S43, so that's the mile we're on, and uh, it's on an island, which is kind of cool. But I'm not gonna stay here. Like I said, I just wanted to stretch, but uh, it wouldn't be a bad little spot. Nice little uh, rocky ledge across the way there and had a John boat come flying by here which is got to be a lot of fun right now because it's super shallow and uh, you'll be paddling and won't be able to see bottom and all of a sudden it's inches deep so it's uh, definitely low water so but uh, very cool very cool place uh, I'm gonna try to get I'm not sure how many more miles but I want to get past the William O'Brien State Park uh, there's a campsite right across the river from it so be nice to get to that point and then I feel like uh, that puts me in good shape for getting to the Mississippi the next day or pretty close to it so yeah it's a nice little campsite though be perfect to hang on a couple of trees here almost like they're made for for a hammock to hang between them a couple options but uh, yeah, I just wanted to keep going, but it was a cool place to stop and just have lunch. Getting used to being in the, the solstice, the mare. She's uh, narrow and sleek and takes a little bit of getting used to at first, but uh, fully loaded, she sits in the water real good. So a couple of fishermen out here passing other paddlers, which is always cool. I'm glad there's people out here enjoying the, la the river. So, yeah. It's a nice little spot though, so hopefully I don't regret leaving it behind. I want to just get a little further today.
Well, I've landed for the night. I'm not really sure exactly how many miles that was. 15 to 20 or something, but for a first day, that's not too terrible. I uh, was getting set up here to hang in the hammock. This is by far the longest hammock hang I've ever done. Um, had to really get creative in getting her, getting it up there and still being able to hang high enough. But I was all set up, got the porch up, you know, like I like, and heard this loud crunch, loud snap. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's this guy. And um, we're not expecting much for wind. I'm going to try to show you just how much this thing's actually leaning. I'll try to go straight up from the trunk and then you can see just how much it leans. And uh, yeah, that's quite the lean. I wish the camera would show it better. It's really, it's really got a lean. And that lean probably puts it right there. But uh, yeah. That's not a very big gap. So, I think what I'm gonna end up doing is putting my tent up. There's not really anywhere else I can hang. I'm maxed out on my ridge line um, with those two trees being as far as apart as they are. And so, uh, I might actually just uh, set the tent up right here. I think that's gonna be the best option. Um, it's about the flattest and then, uh, should that big old ugly sucker go, uh, it wouldn't be a threat to me, I don't think. Um, if it comes down in the middle of the night, it's going to be a hell of an event. But uh, I think we'll be alright. So, we'll just play it safe and hopefully get to use the hammock tomorrow. Which is unfortunate, it's brand new, I want to use it. So, but uh, otherwise, yeah, it's uh, it's been a cool day. Um, it's shallow, you know, you'll be paddling out in deep water or whatever and the uh, channel will kind of you know skirt off one way or the other and before you know it you're in inches deep water so it's crazy how uh, shallow it actually is around here um, you know all of a sudden there'll be a tree that comes you know sticking out of the water just barely and uh, so you really got to kind of keep your eyes open but I mean there's still John boats flying around out there and um, seen plenty of paddlers so there's uh, people out here enjoying the St. Croix and uh, yeah, it is a very beautiful river. It's, it's always been, even in low water, it's still very clear and still a very pretty river. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, I'm actually just across the river from the Williams O'Brien State Park, which is where we stayed last night. So uh, that was my ultimate goal for today. You can actually see people walking on the trail up there. That was my actual goal for the day was to at least reach this far. This is where we stayed last night. Uh, across the river at the campground and so uh, I wanted to at least get back to here but uh, yeah that's that's kind of the update uh, just had a bite to eat because I was starving I really didn't eat much this morning so um, like I said a short first day but it's kind of nice to uh, make a, the first day short it just uh, gets you kind of back in the, the flow of things you know you get back to the feel of the boat and the water and um, usually you're uh, well, at least for me, I'm usually tired in the morning. So, look at it. Up there, hovering behind me, just waiting. So, yeah, I don't mind a, a shorter first day, because I know it's always kind of a rush to get out here. Everything's kind of a, a hurried along process, and then uh, when you kind of get loaded up for day two, that's when you kind of get everything put where you want it, and kind of get back into a flow of being out on the river, so. But as for now, I will just film anything I see that looks interesting, of course. There's been falcons diving in the water here. Um, I'm pretty sure they're falcons, and uh, they're just bombing the water, going after fish. So hopefully uh, catch one of them on film or something. But anyway, I got to get setting up the tent because, uh, yeah, it's already, what, well, 4 o'clock. I guess it's not that late, but uh, I like to have things done, so. But anyway, that pretty much wraps up day one.
That's where I was hanging between that tree and that tree. So now on this side, you can really see that lean where that thing would have come down. Boom. So we're over there now in the little tent. Been demoted. Demoted from the new Hennessy hammock, which I've yet to try, down to the one person ionosphere. Better safe than sorry, I guess. This will wrap up episode one of this mini series, Paddling on the St. Croix River. This is such a great stretch of river with plenty of camping spots along the way, tons of wildlife, and beautiful scenery everywhere. Be sure to keep an eye out for episode two, where we will wrap up this trip in a much bigger and far busier river. Take care, and we'll see you on the next one.